I would say, guys, I want to praise our team for a tremendous week of focus and preparation. This has been our best week of preparation. And um, obviously, Florida is going to be a big challenge. They're well coached, excellent team. Um, but our, our guys are ready to go, man. 11 o'clock, kickoff. Hope our fans are there. Hope the Tiger Walk is there. We're going to need the energy, start fast. And we're looking forward to this game. Any questions? Practice. How is that possible, kind of given the injuries that you guys are facing? Yeah. And have you had to adjust practice because yeah. of the number? No, our guys practice hard this week. We practice the same amount of reps. Uh, new guys that got a chance, they're eager, ready to go. Sage Ryan had a great week of practice. Uh, we got some new guys out there. Cornell Floss excited about playing corner. Uh, I think the you know, offensive line's intact. We ran the ball well this week. Uh, new guys at receiver, a couple of guys are getting to play a little bit more, core more. Uh, had an excellent week of practice, so these guys are eager to play and prove themselves. And when it, excuse me, when it comes to Ali Gang, just when did you know that you would be losing him, uh, and, and how does that affect things on the line? Yeah, well, uh, you know, it was up in the air. Uh, you know, obviously we had to let the doctors uh, make that decision. Uh, sometime this week we found out. Now we move Mason Smith back to the defensive end. Uh, but it helps to have uh, Glenn Logan. Glenn Logan's playing tackle. Uh, Neil's playing nose. Uh, Jay Roy is uh, Jacqueline Roy is playing tackle and nose. And we also have Jacoba Guillory. And we move Sony back there. And so we're shuffling people around. But you know now Mason's going to play it in in Ali's place. Hey, Coach, you mentioned a couple of the guys that you're looking at to step up in the secondary this week. But uh, how do you see those injuries in the back end affecting the pass rush and maybe – how willing or, or aggressive you're willing to be with that front seven? Yeah, well, we have to see. You know, obviously, with our uh, four-man rush, I believe in our four-man rush, is something that <laughs> if you can do during a game like this with the speed that they have, you want to do. Um, obviously, if you have to commit five or six, that means you have less coverage back there, and we got some new guys back there. But we're going to have to pick and choose our spots where we have to pressure the quarterback. There's going to be some pressures called. All right, Coach, y'all had a full week of practice, and you know you said about um, having some of those key players out with injuries. How is the team adjusted to that, and, like, what's the mindset of you guys going into, like, being a quarter on that? You know, uh, Andre Anthony had a players-only meeting on Monday, and our team's been on fire all week. Um, the uh, And, you know, we have a, a, a saying here, next man up. And we, I told the team at the beginning of the year, everybody's going to have to play. Everybody's going to have to be ready. So we have some guys that are eager that was not playing on the second team. Now they're going to be playing for the Tigers. They brought some energy this week, and they're excited about playing. Hey, Coach, although we haven't seen the success that we would like to see from the program since the national championship in 2019, what would you say is the mindset in recruiting, and how do you feel about retaining and getting those commitments? Yeah. Well, right now I feel really good. Uh, we talked to our recruits. Uh, as much as we can, we keep in contact with them. Uh, some of them come watch us practice when they can. So I feel like recruiting is going very well. Now, obviously, we have to finish very strong at the end. But right now, we haven't had any decommits. Guys are sticking with us in, in, a, in our corner. Hey, Coach. This is Leah from The Advocate. Um, I was just wondering if you can think back to a time in your career in which you've experienced this sheer number of injuries in the past and how you were able to deal with it. You know, the only th thing I can relate to is uh, when we were at USC and I took over, we had a limited roster because of scholarship cuts, because of sanctions. And we didn't have, I don't think we had maybe 55 guys that practice out there. So it, it, it makes you practice a little bit different, but we practice that way the whole time. Uh, we don't practice our guys on two different fields. We practice one unit at a time, the other guys get rest. And I think that's been uh, really good for our players. Ed, just listening to you talk here, it sounds like you got a little juice. Yeah. Uh, not personally, but like the team got a little yes. juice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, today, today was the most spirited Thursday we've had. You know, these guys are fired up. I mean, Florida's a rivalry. I know other guys, uh, uh, ex-players have been talking to them, calling them and stuff like that. Uh, you know, our guys are ready to play. It's going to be fun.
Hey, Coach, uh, when you had an 11 a.m. game earlier this year, might have been your best game of the year. You felt yeah. like those guys handled that. They were up and ready to go. And yeah. how do you handle that this time? Yeah, you know, I, I, we wake them up early. We have a call-out meeting. We play music. We, you know, we do all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> it was just to get them fired up. And, you know, it just, you know I told them, you know, I told them on, on Monday, our clock's got to be fast. And uh, listen, any anytime, anywhere, any place, anybody, we got to be ready to play. And that's our mantra. The, the last time Florida came here, obviously LSU won the game, but you talked about if there was ever a game the crowd helped you win the game, yes. it was that one. Is that the best atmosphere you've ever had here? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I remember at the end when they were, our crowd was doing the Gator Chomp. I'll never forget that. I, just, I will never forget that moment. It was a wonderful moment. But Florida gave us everything that we wanted. It was a tough game. I think it was 28-28, and then we went up a uh, score. And then uh, Stingley had that fumble, I, I do, another interception. And then we went back, and I think Jamar made the big play, made it something like 42-28, but it was a tick and tack the whole game. And our crowd was a big factor, no question. Uh, this is just another entry question. I'm just curious, do you have a timetable for Major Burns or Joseph Evans yet? You know, uh, I don't expect Joe uh, the rest of the year. Uh, Major Burns, uh, when his injury occurred, it was four to five weeks. So he, he, well, he's been out a week or two, so we still have about three weeks left. Coach, I wondered if you had a timetable when you expect Allie to have his surgery, and I saw Anthony, uh, Andre tweeted out that his, his surgery went well today. Yeah, Andre had a surgery. I think, uh, I think uh, Ali's having a surgery soon. I don't know exactly when. Uh, I'm going to talk to the uh, trainer. He'll tell me, but I know it's going to be soon. Uh, we said that's something that he looked like he was playing through with the brace and yeah. everything. Is that kind of what you're seeing, guys trying to gut it out and yeah. get to a tipping point where it's just – Yeah. That was a reoccurring injury with Ali and uh, just kept on popping out, kept on popping out. Same thing with uh, uh, Eli Ricks. Just kept on popping out, kept on popping out, got to where we know they couldn't play with it. They tried, though. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are trying. I yeah. guess that's what – does it speak to the toughness that they're, you know, they're just the, probably got guys on the team right now fighting with yeah, I think there's a lot of fight left in this team, Mike. Uh, I've been with them, you know, I, I know we're 3-3, three and three, I know, but we got a lot of games left. And from what I've seen this week, what I've seen from the coaching staff, there's a lot of fight left in this team. Hey, Coach. Is that it? Yeah.